Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to cover over some update info on things that got added into NGS today. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. So one of the very first things I'm going to mention to you all is as you can see behind me here, there's actually a new field that's been added into the game. We have the city exploration. Now you can just start this up in the quest counter and uh, it's a 32 player quest and you actually run around for 15 minutes and then it kicks you out of the quest afterwards. And while you're running around inside of the quest, it's a 32 player field. You can actually match up with other players with passwords. What we're in right now, actually, while making this video that you can see, we're actually in a photo room currently. So you can actually come in here with no time limit too, if you want to take like screenshots or just kind of exploring stuff. But whenever you run the regular version of it, you actually have a lot of really cool drops that you can get inside of here. There's new 11 star weapons that drop from inside of here. And they're actually very, very, very common. And they added in some new EX augments and stuff too. So it's actually pretty cool. It's pretty worth running. Now I did want to mention that there's actually a new story mission that got added today. And the new story mission is actually super cool too. So I would definitely suggest to watch all the cutscenes and stuff. It's actually really good lore that got added today. So we got another nice feature that got added into the game today. And there's a couple of them here actually that we're going to go over. So if you open up your menu and you go to system and then you go to auto sell drop items, you can actually see now that you can auto sell 10 star weapons if you want to, 10 star rarity weapons. Uh, so that's a pretty nice little feature that's been added in. Now, something else that's pretty cool that's been added in along with this, if you go to the options menu here, and then you go down to the very bottom down here, you can actually set your target rarity for notifications all the way up to 11 stars now. So there's no more getting trolled by seeing the gold shiny rare drop notification for a 10 star any longer. Now you'll know if you'll get one that's going to be an 11 star. So Sega added a new feature to the vital gauges today. If you open up your menu and you go to personal and then go to vital gauge design, you can see right here, wherever you go to select your vital gauges up in the top right up here, there's actually a little, there's a little thing up here on the top right where you can turn off HP and PP gauge. So if we go ahead and normally, if it was to show you right here, you can see like my numbers and the little gauge and everything. And you can see my vital gauge down there in the bottom left. So then we're going to go ahead and shut that off and we're going to see what that looks like if we go to hide it here whenever we back out, you can see it removes the bar. So you still have the numbers and stuff, but it removes those two bars basically. And it makes it to where you can see your vital gauge just a little bit more. So if you're a big fan of trying to see those, it actually looks pretty nice and clean like that. I'm probably gonna use it this way too. So today we actually got a level cap increase. So you can actually take all of your classes to level 90, which is pretty cool. Now, something else that's really nice is you can actually take your gear now to plus 90 as well. So you can actually get seven slots once you hit 81 and then get a little bit more attack and everything too once you take everything up to plus 90. Now, I wanted to mention in particular, whenever it comes to weapons currently right now, we're kind of in a weird spot. So Sega added in the new 11 star weapons today, but in order to transfer the, the three EX augments off of those, we've got a whole lot of new EX augments that have been added to the game. There's so many of them, I don't, I'm not even really gonna go into it too much because I don't really know which ones are best or good to suggest. But whenever it comes to actually transferring those, you're gonna have to actually pretty much wipe your weapon, I believe. So like in my case, I have this like fully augmented best in slot wing guard gun blade here. And whenever I go to transfer on the new three EX augments to it, I'm gonna have to actually take an L on the Gigas Bland Mass Day and the and Addy Spear Attack that I have on it and stuff. All that stuff's gonna get removed because it doesn't actually have any of those EX augments on here yet, sadly. So I'm not really a fan of how they did that, uh, unfortunately, but that's just kind of is what it is. I'm just going to chalk it up, take the loss and add the three new EX augments and then just free affix it. So we do have a new feature that got added to the enhancement lab here today, and that's the augment transfer option. So there's a couple of different ways that this works. Whenever it comes to transferring e uh, EX augments, you can only transfer EX augments to another weapon that has EX augments on them. So if you have a weapon that doesn't have any EX Augments on it yet, you're going to have to first put EX Augments on there first in order for this option to even matter. Now, once EX Augments are on a weapon and it's augmented and everything, you can freely change out the EX Augments with other, three other EX Augments at any point if you want to, and you won't lose out on your main affixes and stuff. But unfortunately, if you don't have EX Augments on, like, say, your Wing Guard yet, you're going to have to use this All Augment Transfer option here first. Now, in order to do that, you're going to have to either use one of those Iridium weapons that we get from the city, or you're going to have to use an Augment Transfer Pass. Now, the Augment Transfer Passes are pretty scarce, as I mentioned. Uh, you have to have 100 vouchers in order to get hold of one of those. It's not something that you're just going to have like a bunch of laying around. It's pretty new. Uh, there's not a lot of sources of getting those yet. So for most, most people, if you're wanting to actually put like EX Augments on like your Wing Guard or something like that, you're going to have to actually pretty much kind of start from a fresh weapon. Uh, 
you're gonna have to pretty much start with getting rid of all the augments that you have and putting the three EX augments and then just basically re-augmenting again. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's just the way it's got to be. Uh, for the future weapons and stuff, it's not going to be so bad because then at that point you can just uh, you can just augment the iridium to have like plan mass day and stuff like that. Whenever you do the all augment transfer, it should just go ahead and just patch those over too. So it's a little bit of a confusing system. I don't fully understand it myself just yet either. I don't want to mislead people, so I'm not going to go over it too much yet. Now, just for an example, I'm going to show you if I was to go to all augment transfer here, and if I was to choose my wing guard weapon. You can see whenever I choose it, it brings up the two different Iridium weapons I have here that have these EX augments. It's going to pop up that I'm going to actually lose all of my augments that I have, and all it's going to give me in return is this going to be these three EX augments. You can see that it doesn't actually pass anything but what's on the Iridium, so I don't get to keep any of the old stuff that I had on my wing guard, unfortunately. So I'm going to be losing out on that Anadi and the Glad Master and all that stuff, the Lux Half and Alley if I want to put these three new EX augments on here. So unfortunately, that's a little bit of a downside to this uh, for anybody that has actually augmented something the best in slot recently. Uh, you're going to have to have an augment transfer pass to actually get that stuff off of your main weapon if you want to. So something else Sega did today that's pretty cool is they updated some of the drops in the dual quest. So before previously, whenever you ran dual quests, you could get up to a maximum of three Fugias. Uh, per run and now they've actually updated it to where you get five per run so you can get a hold of some of those things that you're trying to farm when it comes to augment capsules like landmass day and stuff like that a lot faster now via the extra drop so that's pretty cool so fighter did actually get reworked today too so they did a whole lot of changes to fighter they actually revamped the knuckles weapon the double saber weapon and the twin daggers so there's quite a bit of rebalancing going on with fighter it's probably pretty op now so any of you fighter mains out there you just got like a big bump in damage and flashiness and everything so it's definitely a cool time to try out fighter so sega updated some of the level up class campaigns you actually get like a whole bunch of new weapons that they got added to the game there's actually so before we used to get those argenti weapons and now they've changed them into argent coal is what they are now and they actually come at plus 90 and they have like fixed attack five on them and stuff and a little bit more attack than argenti did uh, so it's a little bit better with a filler weapon that you get now just for reaching level 65 on the class you pretty much get these freebie weapons and you also get like the freebie armor and stuff now, also, I wanted to mention this week we got something new added is the fighter level up campaign as well as the gunner level up campaign. So just uh, go through these limited time tasks here and check these out. There's some for leveling up fighter and playing fighter as well for gunner too. give you like some build parts and some other little rewards. It's pretty worthwhile to do. You can see that we actually have a limited time task in here for augment transfer pass voucher too. So another nice feature that got added this week, if you open up your menu and then you go to gear sub palettes and then you go to customize looks and then looks, you can see we actually have for premium users 50 save slots now when it comes to fashion. So we actually got 20 more save slots now. If you're a premium user, you have access to this. Unfortunately, all you free users out there, you still just get like the normal 10. But yeah, for premium users, this is a pretty big W here that we actually get like 20 extra save slots now. He used to drive me crazy wanting to save different fashion because I'm always changing up my fashion all the time. So this is really nice. So the item trader Travis got a little bit of an update at the Arc Striker badge exchange that you can go to here. If you go here, there's actually some camos that got added in here. Now, a couple of these camos are actually just repeats that we've had before, but one of them in particular is a new one here is the Millennium Round Almate CV. And you can see this actually has like a nice like pink magenta kind of color to it. So we do have a new theme for creative space that got added to the game today, and that's the Far Eastern theme with cherry blossoms and a seed of clouds. So this is actually a really cool looking creative space theme too. So I think a lot of people are probably going to like that. It's pretty neat. So we do have a couple of Arcs record rankings going on this week. Now, if you open up your menu and you go to personal Arcs records, random challenge records, you can see we have two different ones here. Now, the first one I'll mention is the North Alio board stage one. It's just over there at the Ryuker in North Alio. It's really easy to find, really easy to do. And you'd want to do just one run of this so you get a participation reward, just a board race. And you can do this on any class. Now, this other one here for Fleeting Flight Solo, this one has actually fighter specific. So you have to actually play fighter in order to rank on this one. It's because they did the reworks on fighter and everything today. Now I'll go ahead and show you where you would find this one at too. Now this one, over, whenever you open up your world map, you can find it over here in Halfia Lake. See it has this, it's the one where you fight the Bujin. 
And you can see that it actually has a little king crown on it that signifies it being the cocoon for the arch record ranking for this week too. Now keep in mind, you do have to play fighter whenever you do this to, in order to rank on it for the arch record ranking this week, but that is where you would find it. So this week we do have a new AC scratch to gotta add to the game and that's Bridal Fantasia. So this scratch actually has some really nice stuff inside of it. There's a couple of motions inside of here that I think a lot of people are probably gonna like where you're like walking and idling with like a rifle and stuff. It actually looks pretty cool. There's a couple of good emotes inside of here too. There's some pretty good outfits. There's some pretty good accessories. So definitely go through when you get a chance to just check out the prize listing here. There's some pretty nice stuff inside of here. Now, whenever it comes to the outfits inside of the scratch, I did want to mention my friend Kuroni actually made a video showing off all the differences between these outfits here. Which pieces can be colored, which pieces can be hidden stuff like that. It's very useful info, so I'm going to leave a link in the video description below to Peroni's Outfit Showcase video. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, wrap it up for the video. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Stay safe and have a wonderful day, friends. I'll see you all in the next one.